Hey guys, um, welcome to my first video on um, doing some mods to my Mini. Um, the, so the first one we're going to be doing is we're going to be installing this scoop onto the bonnet. Uh, replacing the one that you can just see there. Um, fairly straightforward, just one T20 uh, hex screw and it'll pop straight off using a trim remover tool and, um, and we'll just pop this one on. So I'll take you through the installation process and uh, yeah, so if you want to see more videos, remember to like and subscribe, hit the bell as well because we've got lots more coming. We've got uh, Bimmer code, uh, how to do that on the Mini. We've also got um, a CarPlay, aftermarket CarPlay box. So I'll be going through the fitting of that one. And also wee bits and pieces that I've ordered over the last couple of weeks since getting the Mini um, a few weeks ago. Um, so yeah, um, stay tuned and uh, let's get into the installation. Cheers. So once you pop the bonnet up at the top, you'll see a single T20 Torx screw and that uh, holds in the, the bonnet scoop um, there. So undoing that and then we'll use the trim remover tool from the other side to pop that off. Alright. So obviously you want to be careful not to drop the screw A down the inside of the bonnet or, or into the engine bay. So try and use a magnetised um, torque screw bit if you've got one. Keep this really safe. So I got this off of um, Amazon the other day. I needed a new trim remover tool um, or trim removal kit. Um, and as you can see, this kit's got loads of different kind of shapes, sizes. Also got some pry pry bars in there. Uh, loads and loads of wee things, bits and pieces. A lot of which I don't know how to use, but you know what? Um, I've got a, an installation of the uh, the Cartley aftermarket box, so I've no doubt that these are going to come in handy for that as well. So um, for this job, I think we're going to be using this one, and let's get the let's get the existing scoop off. Okay, so using your trim remover tool, just take it really, really easy. They are made of soft plastic, so you shouldn't do any kind of major damage or any damage at all to this. But if you are worried about that, maybe take a wee bit of. Um, masking tape and just put it around the put it on the on the surface just to protect the paintwork. Okay, so once you get the existing stock one off, you'll notice there are these wee plastic clips so some of them actually might break like like that one so there, I don't know if you can see that but that's now that's broken but the, S, the kit that you get from SMPS 2012 with the new scoop comes with some new clips on there as well okay so let me just get this cleaned up we microfiber cloth just get that cleaned um, and then we'll we'll get the new one installed Okay guys, so here's the kit that you get from SMPS 2012. So um, you get obviously the scoop, which we've, we've had a wee look at already. We get some new clips, which a couple of mine broke, so that's really good that those are included. We obviously get our um, SMPS 2012 uh, air freshener uh, and also a collectible card. So let me just get these um, fitted. So I believe that they'll just actually just fit in here like this. If you can do this one handed until they click. There we go. And I'll get all these fitted and I'll see you in a minute. Okay guys, that's them all clipped in, uh, ready to go. Um, it is bitterly cold outside um, and some of these are quite difficult to push in until they click uh, with your fingers. So just, I would recommend just a microfiber cloth and just to actually just push them in as best you can until they, they must click. So just make sure that these are all properly seated um, before you install it in the car. 
I'll see you back at the car in just a minute and we'll get it get it put on. Okay, what you're best to do is when you're actually putting when you're actually putting this on um, and we're clicking these brackets in place onto the car, just make sure you've got a microfiber cloth and you can actually push these down. So let's give this a go. Alright guys, that's the, the scoop installed. Man, wow, looks good. Yeah, that is really impressed with that, really impressed. Yep, really pleased with the fitting of that. Clicked in without too much of a problem. Us. Let me just get the Torx T20 screw screwed back in and that's it done. Okay guys that's the installation done and here is what the scoop looks like. So a lot more aggressive. Of course these scoops actually don't do anything. They are blocked off and you know, all the stock one is blocked off as well. I know that there is a kit that you can get to open these up and make them functional scoops, but I think for the moment, I think that really adds to the look of the car. As you can see from the front, it matches the it matches the the black either side of the number plate and also the wing mirrors and the and the roof as well. I'm in two minds whether or not to actually do you know dechrome it, get a uh, an OSMPS 2012 do a dechroming kit where they give you the, the lights, uh, the grill surround, um, all the door handles uh, and also the rear tail lights as well. Uh, you can get the kit to, to uh, dechrome all of that. So I'm in two minds, um, I'm not quite sure. If Let me know what you think down in the comments section. Um, but as for today's video, that is the scoop installed. Really pleased. I'll keep the keep my my factory one, um, put it in a box, and uh, just maybe swap it out if I ever decide to get rid of the get rid of the mini. So, but as for today's video, thank you very much for watching. I um, hope it was useful, um, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, you can also um, get all the tools that you need for this installation, including a link to the bonnet scoop at SMPS 2012 in the description below and I'll include obviously the the Amazon uh, link to the trim removal kit uh, as well but thanks so much for watching guys see you in the next one